hello guys you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always having you here yesterday in anambra state during the inauguration a ceremony of richard soludo uh something happened the ex governor's wife governor obiano's wife and uh, bianca ujuku you know got into fights and all that so many persons have reacted you no know, nigerians are talking left right and center and all that but the recourse of the fight between obiano's wife and bianca ujuku you know has been reviewed fact about the fact that ensued between the wife of the former governor of anambra state ebele chuku obiano and bianca the widow of late chief emeka Ujuko have emerged. Daily posts and other news platforms reported how the Do engaged in a physical combat on Thursday during the swearing in ceremony of uh, Governor Charles Soludo at the seat, uh, at the state governor's uh, government house. According to Vanguard, the fight began when the former governor's wife, who was said to have had issues with Bianca, called her a witch. She was said to have walked up to Bianca and engaged her in a conversation which led to the fight. Okay? And Nigerians have actually condemned this uh, art. How could you leave your seat, you know, to meet someone else in a public place like that? And this shows how this woman you know is actually behaving at home i wonder what the husband is at, uh, has been going through and fact also has still um, emerged that this is just her lifestyle she likes slapping people you know she likes slapping people that is how she do slap the the deputy governor's wife and people who works with her and all that this is a woman who's supposed to be uh, a mother you understand a first lady they say charity begins at home but it does not end there but this woman has shows the kind of person she is and the kind of wife she's actually is and all that though so many nigerians have been saying that she deserves even several severe punishment from her husband for disgracing him publicly because only God knows what the husband must have, you know, suffered in the hands of such a, a brainless and beautiful woman. What a pity. How can you? How could you do such a thing? And some people also said that that slap Bianca gave to her is not even enough. Bianca would have given her a slap that she will look for five minutes, she will not see. Come to think of it, she and Bianca is nowhere you know to as in no class as in what, what i mean by uh, she does not have class she's just a, a governor's wife bianca is she is internationally recognized you understand so apart from that bianca is far 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 not a maid they are not made so because you are a governor's wife or whatever does not give you you know that ticket to behave rudely to people to you know assault people anyhow and calling her all sorts of name because she's a widow that 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 is really very wrong we see so many married women who who, who does all kind of nonsense and all that because bianca is a widow that does not make her you know to carry that tag that is really very wrong you don't know tomorrow all these things must surely come to pass in everyone's life it's either your husband will die you become a, a widow or your husband's uh or you die your husband becomes a widower that is life for you that is not enough for someone you know to to start talking nonsense and all that honestly nigerians are not happy with what happened yesterday and um, so many people are saying that this woman is supposed to apologize to Bianca publicly, you know, because she really disgraced herself. She disgraced her husband. And she assaulted Biafra and Indigo as a whole. 
<laughs> this woman pushed her husband yesterday to EFCC hand because it was hunger that made that man to say, oh, I'm, I'm not going to stay, I'm not going to sleep here because how can you just, how can you just came for, you know, a handover ceremony? You are handling, hand, handling over to another uh, uh, governor at the same day you are running away. So we should just understand that what is happening right now is because of anger and all that. It's anger that is generated all what is going on. So you know good bad person they marry bad woman. Not be beauty be everything. Your character. Your character matters a lot. Yes. Your character tells who you are, not your beauty. Wait till they won't use your beauty, do. Okay, Nigerians have reacted here. Let's quickly hear what they have to say. We all by uh we all by our action can tell that she is a woman that dishonor her husband. Her action was hmm, really very bad. I think she naturally a she's a naturally a troublemaker. Okay, because by her step, we, we just know that. I will never st support what Ebele Chiku did, but Bianca, after disgraceful remarks on Obiano during the campaigns, ought not to be at the swearing in. Okay, someone said that. It's at the swearing in of Soludo, okay? Mind you, it's not for uh, Obiano. You understand? Okay, it was an inauguration, and uh, every stakeholder is free to attend so you cannot stop bianca of coming to some another person's uh, inauguration and all that they are 10 or don't pass now she for just push that in waka command this disgrace when she calls you know to herself for not come you understand because she's going to live to regret this a in the first uh nigeria um uh, first lady, hmm? governor's wife, that that left with a fight, a, a slap on her face. She not go forget her for life, and she will live to regret that action she took. Obiano's wife is wrong to have approached her with insultive ways. Anyway, she got what she deserves. She never deserved that molestation from Mrs. Obiano at all. This is politics and not family problem. Obiano's wife should have been educated. Hmm. These are Nigerians talking. When Barbara told you guys that the place of the woman is in the kitchen, <clears throat> in Zaza room, all of you came for his head. You can now see the wisdom of Baba. Give a woman a little freedom and she will become a freedom fighter she deserved the slap anyway okay guys i'm dropping it here kindly share your thoughts with us thank you very much for this coming out here bye for now